Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. Last month at the beginning of March, I posted a video letting you know that iPhone support would be coming to the phone link app on Windows 11. And when I did post that video uh, in March, um, was rolling out to uh, all three Windows 11 Insider channels. So it was available in preview and was an early preview of phone link for iOS on Windows 11. Now I'll leave a link to that video in the description uh, if you would be interested because it will give you a lot more info. But just to let you know that um, if you haven't heard and you have an iPhone and an iOS device, that on the 26th of April, Microsoft has announced now that um, iPhone support is now available um, in the phone link app on Windows 11 for all Windows 11 users. So it's not available only in preview, like I posted previously, but is now available for all Windows 11 users. And as many of you would know, um, up until recently, before this um, announcement, uh, the phone link only supported Android devices. And now if you have an iPhone, you'll be able to sync your device with your Windows 11 PC. Now, just a quick recap for the purpose of today's video. Um, phone link for iOS basically lets you connect your iPhone to your Windows 11 PC as mentioned. And after you have connected your iPhone, um, you will then be able to be updated with notifications uh, that you received on your iPhone and um, actually on your Windows 11 PC using the phone link app. And over and above that, obviously, as mentioned previously, you can make calls, send messages and get access to your phone contacts. Um, on your Windows 11 PC using the phone link app. Now, um, how you can actually connect your device, um, just to um, walk you through that process once again, because I did cover that previously, but just to keep you updated and in the loop, so to speak, um, how you can set up your phone link app uh, for iOS with Windows 11 is obviously you would, if you haven't got the phone link app on your device, you would head over to the Microsoft Store where you can download and install the phone link app. And then you would have to enable um, Bluetooth on both devices. So that would be um, on your Windows 11 PC and your iPhone. And then um, when you open the phone link app um, on your PC, uh, you would have to click the iPhone button, as we can see. So you'll have, pick your phone, you'll have the Android option or the iPhone option. You click the iPhone uh, button and the desktop app will then display a QR code and you can scan it with the link um, to Windows app on your iPhone to pair those devices and just something else to take note of um, you may need to enable some bluetooth sharing settings on your iphone for other uh, features like contacts and notifications so just take note of that now um, some other things just to remember um, and just to take note of there are some limitations to what you can actually do with this feature and just to go through these quickly just to keep you updated um, you cannot run your iphone apps on your PC using the phone link app. Currently that is still limited to uh, select Samsung and Surface Duo devices as many of you may know and it will require an iPhone with iOS 14 or higher and the latest version of the phone link app so you will have to be updated to the latest version and um, something else to remember is that image and video sharing and group messaging are not available using the phone link app and it also won't be available um, and support your iPad or Mac OS. So that's just a couple of things to remember. And currently, um, this is on a controlled rollout. So Microsoft, in the announcement, uh, did say that um, if you're not seeing the feature as yet um, on your phone link app, that it will be rolled out gradually using a phased controlled rollout, which um, will be completed by mid-May according to that announcement by Microsoft. So if you're not seeing it over the next few days, I'm sure that you will be getting it sooner than later, working its way using that controlled rollout um, into mid-May next month. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.